Have you made a castle before? No. No. You never made a castle before? No, never. Fuck me. 47 30, years ago. 30 years ago, probably at Catering College. It's right. time to nail rule number seven. Don't attempt to cook elaborate food yeah. before you've mastered the very basics. We'll start off with just roasting off the vegetables. Right. And then we'll brown the meat, put it all into a pot, and let it cook nice and slow for about an hour and a half. I've got just 36 hours to teach Jackson's inept head chef how to cook. Nigel, yes. you're doing the potatoes? Yes. Once they're finished, we're going to make a fish stock. Right. Yeah? Then... That's going to be our base for fish soup. Lamb, we need to cut it off. See? Oh, look how dark it is. That there is, is all, all, all about flavour there. That whole thing there is just pure flavour. Using inexpensive produce fresh from the local markets, 90% of this new food can be prepared in advance. Dishes like lamb casserole, pork terrine and fish soup are designed to take the heat off during service. Sew it in. That's it, nicely mixed. Good. The aim is to get Dave and Nigel sending out delicious, tasty food to a dining room full of customers, without Dave having a nervous oh, breakdown in the process. You're free. You're free to control it and do it properly without having to do 20 things at once. Yeah, I understand. Next up, we're prepping some locally caught fish for a deliciously simple soup. Right, go on, just give me a hand here, will you, please? Yeah. See the knife? Yeah. Then watch it all the way down to the tail. Yeah. Out. Straight off. Right, eyes out. Yep, and just cut it up into quarters. Any specific way or just... Well, it's only for a fish stock, Dave, so whatever way you feel fit. OK. This is like pulling teeth. Anyone that hasn't actually even cooked a castle before, yeah, or filleted fish, shouldn't be rolling a fucking restaurant. So let's get cracking on with the fish soup. Cook off your mussels, and we'll save the juice, yeah? Have you cooked mussels before? No. You're pulling my plonker now, aren't you? You've never cooked a mussel? All right, we can shout or you can fucking help. I don't mind. What do you mean I can help? Hey, what have we been doing for the last... Yeah, OK, fine, you're right. I'm sorry. What have we been okay. doing for the last two hours? Fine, so what do we want in here? I'm just amazed you've never cooked a mussel. I haven't. Don't take the piss out of me for it, though. I mean, who's taking the piss? You are. I don't think you can actually cook. If you'd have fucking talked If you can't me, cook a no, fucking if mussel... If you had fucking yes. talked yeah. Uh -huh. Go on. Hey? Go on. Yeah, uh -huh. Finish it, then. Finish what? What are you about to are say? You? What am I about to say? Cook a mussel. No, I haven't cooked one. Right. OK. Right. So, shall I show you how to cook a mussel? Oh, at last. Thank you. Yes, oh. please. Right. Are you going to tone your voice down or yes. are you going to shout like some dick? I'll shout like some dick and then I'll calm down. Right. Now I've shouted, well, Why don't you fuck off down. to the bookshop, read how to cook a mussel and come back and see me? Yeah, okay. And I'll run your fucking restaurant. Thank you. Plonker. Twat. <laughs> fucking hell. What's all that about? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, at least we broke the ice now anyway. We know where we stand. Yeah. Five minutes after he put his toys back in his pram, Dave returned ready and willing to learn how to cook mussels. Now we're doing steaming them now. Not quite. We've done more in the last fucking hour than we have in three days, yeah? Yeah. I know more about you and you know more about fucking me, yes? True, chef. Thank you. Gordon. Gordon. Fuck the chef. Yeah. Rule number eight. Don't assume you can run a restaurant just because you've worked in one. Sometimes, you know, when I listen to you talk about food and the way you are in a kitchen, I'm concerned that you fall in love with becoming a great chef, but forgot to go through the journey to get there. What do you mean by a great chef? I mean, to reach a good your, cook. Your no, 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 fuck all to do with me. You're not working for someone else now. You're working for yourself. And, you know, this is on its ass. Yeah. The business can't get any worse. 